this particular copy is valuable. Why? Because it has a white label promo. This was only mailed out to radio stations. So the white label promo is what you want, not just any old Led Zeppelin album. How much is that worth? This one's worth about three to four hundred dollars in good shape. Hmm. Uh, Meet the Supremes uh, from 64 or so. This is the first cover. They changed the cover. So this is called the stool cover. It has about a $900 value. Uh, Beatles. We all know the Beatles. Well, this album, Yesterday and Today, is the familiar cover. But underneath this, underneath this is this butcher cover, which you might have heard of before. What you want to do is when you peel this off, don't because it might turn out to look like this. You just ruined it. Mm -hmm. So if you have one that has the butcher cover under, leave it alone. Keep the value higher. Mm -hmm. Couple Rolling Stones albums you won't find in your typical store. That's because they were radio station promo only. It's $2,500 and about $800 for that one. Jazz. If you've got good clean copy jazz from the 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. here's some examples that all of these have two to $300 values. The label, Blue Note's the most important one you want to have. Uh, Prestige is another one. Here's the Blue Note. Miles Davis on Prestige. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. People have, there's a high demand for this and a small supply. Mm -hmm. Value goes up. Mm -hmm. Country albums. Ironically, these two were made exclusively for record club only when they had discontinued mm -hmm. vinyl in the early 90s. So the only way you could have gotten this and this was to join a record club and order the vinyl version. So they were valuable probably records. free and now worth how much? Well, these are probably worth 100 plus a piece. Really? Wow. Yeah. Guns N' Roses, 80s mega band. Mm -hmm. This was their first album on Uzi Records before they got signed to Geffen. Mm -hmm. This one's worth about $250 and going up. Mm -hmm. 90s, vinyl was discontinued pretty much to the public in the, in the late uh, 80s, early 90s. So we got some vinyl, Pearl Jam vinyl. This is the first edition, 1990, of George Michaels. These are $100 records nowadays, and sometimes more fish. Mm -hmm. Big following, right. hard to find the records. And falls into uh, too short hip hop stuff. Vinyl done in the 90s, all becomes valuable stuff. Really, how yeah. much is that worth? This is probably worth around $100. Really, yeah. wow. The local band, Kennedy and the Casuals. It's a great album. You should listen to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what makes it so valuable. It's private pressing. Uh, great garage band sound. Mm -hmm. uh, wrote their own music, sang their own songs. Mm -hmm. It's usually about girls. If Kenny's so. still around, he may contact us after yeah. we play this. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Joe Cephas. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a couple albums I don't have. Um, Moving Sidewalks is out of Houston. It, mm -hmm. Can uh, pre um, ZZ Top members right. are in that, and a lot of people might have Pantera. Because yeah, it was a local band. And, yes, uh, there's a fair amount of them out there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And uh, let's see. Um, and I guess uh, people may have this and have forgotten about it. Sure. Mm -hmm. But it's worth over a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's basically. Uh, I think I said seventy-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. And it's because it's a private pressing and it didn't sell massive quantities outside of this area. Mm -hmm. Though I think that song was actually uh, a charted song. Really? 